what is the volume of the solid generated by rotating the region bounded by the curves y square equals x and y equals 2 minus x about the y axis first we need to graph these curves y square equals x so let me graph over here y square equals x okay uh, we know how to graph y equals x square that's a parabola but this is x equals y square okay that will be a parabola like this or you can graph using calculator when you solve y square equals x for y then y is root x but plus minus so you need to graph two curves y equals root x and y equals negative root x so you can graph these two functions then you get this graph and y equals 2 minus x uh, you can use your calculator so let me show you over here so I want to graph all three functions uh, y equals root x and minus root x just to find this parabola slanted pa parabola and y third curve is 2 minus x if I graph then I get let me zoom in okay then we get a line 2 minus x and a parabola okay so we have a parabola y square equals x and 2 minus x coming like this so we are basically looking at this area this region bounded by the curves this is y square equals x curve and this line is y equals 2 minus x and we want to rotate this region about uh, y axis so this is y axis uh, first we need to find these two points of intersections okay now we need to solve algebraic equation so this point of intersection and this point of intersection so we want to set these two curves equal so x equals y squared in this case what will be x uh, x will be move x to the left side this is same as x equals 2 minus y okay I'm writing because I want to solve I want to find these two points of intersections and now x equals y squared x equals 2 minus y now I want to set them equal so y square equals 2 minus y let's solve this is a quadratic equation move everything to the left side y square plus y minus 2 equals 0 factor so 2 2 times 1 2 plus 2 minus 1 so y equals minus 2 y equals 1 okay so the y coordinates minus 2 so this looks like negative 2 and this one is 1 do we need x coordinate look we are revolving this region about y axis okay this is y axis that means we need to take cross section the slice perpendicular to y axis so this will be our sample slice okay which has small width of delta y that means we are doing anti-derivative we are finding the volume formula using y variable in this case the volume formula will be area of that cross uh, sample cross section whatever we get washer or disk a y d y and y from here to here in this case negative 2 to 1 negative 2 to 1 and a y so we need to write the curves in terms of a function of y so we need to write a x equals a function of y so this is already in that case a x equals y squared and we also wrote a x equals 2 minus y which was needed to find the point of points of intersection 
Okay, this is the formula. So we need to find the area of the sample cross section. For that, if we rotate, if we revolve, rotate this sample slice about y axis, so we are going to get sample cross section like this. Okay, we could have taken this slice anywhere. Then we get a washer, in fact. And here is y. So we need to find the area of this slice, which is a washer, not the slice, I mean sample cross section. We need to find outer radius r and inner radius r. Okay. Uh, don't take the slice here. Okay, that would then you are thinking the inner radius is zero. That's not the case. This is a sample slice, or you can we could have taken here as well. In any case, you are getting a washer. Now we want to find the area of this washer. Area it will be in terms of y. That is pi r uppercase r square minus inside pi r square. The whole area minus the hollow inside. For that, we need to find uppercase r, outer radius, and inner radius. So in this case, what is outer radius and what is inner radius? Outer radius from y axis all the way to outer curve. So our in this region, outer curve is x equals 2 minus y. So from x axis all the way to there. So this will be a sample point, any point on the curve in this line. So this direction is always x direction, right? This is x direction. And x is given by 2 minus y. So the outer radius is 2 minus y. x, but we need in terms of y because we are rotating about y. And here is the volume formula. Now inner, inner means from y axis to that curve, which is also x direction. And x is given by, in fact, 2 minus y. So the inner radius is, sorry, I picked the wrong curve. This is the curve for inner, okay, this part. And from here to here, that's the x. x is given by y squared. So r is y squared. So let me use white. That's y squared. Then the area of this washer is pi r squared minus pi r squared. We can pull pi outside. Our outer radius is 2 minus y. So 2 minus y quantity squared minus pi is out. r squared inner radius uh, is y squared. y squared is squared. y to the fourth. Okay. Now we need to simplify. We can simplify later or now. Let me simplify now. And then pi is outside 2 minus y quantity square. Multiply 2 minus y by itself. Then you will get 4 minus 4y four plus y square. You can foil outside. Just multiply 2 minus y by itself. Minus y to the fourth. Okay, This is the area of this washer. Okay, that, that's a sample cross section. And this cross section go all the way from where to where? Negative 2 to here 1. Okay, thus the volume, the required volume is negative 2 to y, area of cross section, sample cross section, which is area of washer. So pi 4 minus 4y plus y squared minus y to the fourth dy. Now we need to evaluate this definite integral. Pi can be pulled outside being a constant. Now find the antiderivative of 4, which is 4x, but we are doing with respect to y. So 4y minus 4y y squared over 2 plus y squared y3 over 3 minus y fourth y fifth over fifth. And we want to go from negative 2 to 1. y equals negative 2 to y equals 1. Okay, a little bit of algebra. 
pi is outside evaluate upper limit for 1 okay minus evaluate for negative 2 it's lower limit uh, let's see two cancels for twice now we are replacing y by 1 so 4 times 1 4 minus 2y square is 2 plus 1 cube 1 third minus 1 fifth minus let's replace y by negative 2 4 times negative 2 negative 8 minus 2 times negative 2 square negative 2 square 4 times 2 8 plus negative 2 cubed negative 8 thirds so this will be negative 8 thirds uh, minus negative 2 to the fifth 2 2 2 5 times 32 negative 5 times negative negative positive so 32 fifths uh, now let's simplify pi is outside 4 minus 2 that's 2 uh, negative 8 negative 8 negative 16 that's 2 2 minus negative 16 minus negative 16 positive 16 so 2 plus 16 18 one third negative negative positive eight thirds one third positive eight thirds one third plus one third plus eight thirds nine thirds nine thirds is three negative one fifth minus plus minus tw uh, 32 fifths negative another negative so 31 and one negative 33 fifths and 18 plus 3 21 minus 33 fifths okay uh, 21 how many fifths uh, 21 times 5 is 105 105 minus 33 is 27 so 72 fifths 72 fifths pi cubic units final